Councillor Mohammad Afzal was speaking about his city hosting the Commonwealth Games in 2022. The Queen, who is monarch for 15 Commonwealth countries, is also celebrating her Platinum Jubilee next year. Her historic 70th year on the throne will be marked by an extended bank holiday in June. The Platinum Jubilee weekend will see several public events and community activities across Britain to mark the special occasion. During her seven decades of service, the monarch has played an influential role in keeping the Commonwealth together, according to Mr. Afzal. The Lord Mayor, who was born in Commonwealth nation Pakistan, told express.co.uk what the Queen means for Birmingham and the rest of the world. He said, I think the Queen herself is very instrumental. She is loved by all Commonwealth countries. I think it is due to the popularity of the Queen that most of the countries still want to remain in the Commonwealth. Obviously, even in this family, there is always one or two people who don't agree with the rest of the family. So, when we're talking about almost 60 countries, there is going to be one or two countries who are maybe feeling sometimes, a small minority in those countries maybe think, oh we don't want to be in the Commonwealth. But the majority in my view do. Mr Afzal, who moved to Birmingham in 1969, thinks that his ethnically diverse city will welcome the Commonwealth Games. He said the public, many of whom hail from South Asia, would welcome seeing their countrymen and women compete at the Games. He added, Frankly, I think it will be a good thing, welcoming other Commonwealth countries, and most of our citizens in Birmingham, they are from these Commonwealth countries, I am myself from Pakistan. There are some countries from the Asian subcontinent. So I think again it will be another extra player for people, at least they will have players in different games from their country of origin. So, the fixtures will also give an extra boost to the city and the citizens. I personally think that still, the bond of the Commonwealth is very strong, and I think the Games are also playing a part. The Games are set to kick off on July 28 next year and will feature a total of 19 different events. Planning for the showcase of world sport is on schedule and on budget, according to Professor Jeff Thompson, the Deputy Chair of the Commonwealth Games Organising Committee. In a column for The Voice earlier this month, he said that to date nearly 300,000 tickets have been applied for so far. The national ballot for tickets will open on September 8, meaning that fans will be able to attend the Games, unlike this year's Tokyo Olympics, which were held behind closed doors. Buckingham Palace has not yet confirmed what role the Queen will play in the Games, but she is widely expected to be involved in the event. One Commonwealth Games tradition the monarch will take part in is the Queen's Baton Relay. A baton with a message from the Queen will be carried through all 72 Commonwealth nations and territories ahead of the Games. Ahead of the last edition of the Games in Australia in 2018, the Queen sent the baton on its way at a ceremony at Buckingham Palace.